Starting out the banner saga tonight. Today, well, whenever you're watching this. One of our dear patrons recommended this game to me. Let me check the audio real quick. Recommended this game to me and thought, and I thought, you know what? It's been sitting on my backlog. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Test this game out. He told me there was an easy mode. So if there isn't an easy mode... Luke, I want you to know I'm, I'm upset with you. Alright, the story changes based on the choices you make. Oh, time to use my narration voice. The gods are dead. Well, that's that's chipper. Great start. In the wake, man and giant survive through a tenuous alliance, dive, driving black destroyers called Dredge Deep into the northern wastes. What did that... Does that even make sense? Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. I was reading that. Alright. So, stuff happened. There are things. Okay. I'll take it. I have no idea what they're saying. It has been several long months oh, there it goes. On the, the first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during That's these long good. winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. Mm. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire we speak to the governor. I have to say, this is a really gorgeous art style. Wow. Do you get like giants or something? He looks huge. Like, look at him. I don't know why, but this art style makes me think of uh, the Venture Brothers, that show that used to be on uh, Cartoon Network or Toonami or whatever it was. I'm just waiting for Dr. Venture to show up. <laughs> They're just cutting people down. Okay. So are these the bad guys, or... Oh. I was to say, you've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Use the right stick to pan around your surroundings. Zoom in and out by holding down the triggers. X to continue. His portraits show the order of initiative. Taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue. The enemy is red. It's your turn to act. Movement happens before action, blah, blah, blah. I probably shouldn't be skipping the dialogue in this or the text box, but I'm just like, I want to play the game. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles each while humans fill a single tile. They can have a huge impact on your strategy. Move them there. Okay, this is kind of like Disgaea or Fire Emblem. That's cool. I like that. Enemy tiles are red. and pulse if the enemy is in range like it's doing now. Target. Yeah, we want to fight him. You can choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. Numbers beneath each icon show the damage you will do to that stat. This feels like a board game now. You got like stats and you got things... Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of two 
Strength means you'll now do two less damage. Strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. Okay, a strength attack will kill him. Use that to select the fist. Okay, attack strength, press confirm. Oh, snap, what did I do? Okay, I think I got it. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. If you're taking an action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turns always alternate, even if you are outnumbered. Okay. Despite being at full strength, the chieftain will do little damage against your shield banger's high arm. Shield banger. How, like, how do you know that you're a good shield banger? Are you like Bam Bam from the Flintstones? You just bang on stuff and... You're like, you know what, little Jimmy over there would make a great shield banger when he grows up. Now it's your Warhawk's turn. He appears to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost their actions. Okay, by moving on gold tiles, a unit can move further than usual at the cost of one willpower. This feels just like a board game. I kind of dig it. I also am kind of overwhelmed by it. Alright, standard attacks only affect a single enemy, but your Warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Blah, blah, blah. Use that. Just select an enemy, confirm your choice. Oh, let's do that guy. Wrecked. Did that say dilly dilly or did that say oh pillage? During pillage, each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. If a character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one willpower. The chieftain will rest this turn. Okay, chieftain is in some trouble. Your shield banger, little Timmy there, won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Use that to begin the attack. Select fist, then press R1 to add a star to the attack. Okay. Number of stars available each turn are determined by your exertion stat, which I guess is that green one over there. So one. Okay. Look at that. We did good. Made it to the first one. We're good. Your renown grows. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We've heard styles is so good. That peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the threats arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more threats to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I am in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight, and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. I'm loving this art style. It's gorgeous. Like it's just, I don't know. There's something about it. It just looks really, really, really good. All right, so we got our little castle thing here. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Fantastic. This dude kind of looks like Daniel Craig. If Daniel Craig was like a Viking or something. 
Irik Stewart of Strand, I manage the governor's business. Ubin, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so you can choose what to say to him, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just be nice. He seems like a nice guy. We'll say it is. Governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. Uh, I don't really want to be a jerk. I'll ask him what he, what does he have in mind. Scalfings? Scalfings? I don't know. That you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. Governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. I'm glad you do, because I do not. I do not know who this is. Alright, what does it say here? Use the left stick or L and R1 to highlight the market tent, then press X to visit the merchant. Okay, I got my little little thing here. We're going to go to the merchant. I'm going to go talk to him, chat him up a little bit. Let me handle this. All right. You meander through rows of open face houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. I don't know what blanching means, but it doesn't sound good. Had, I'm not in the mood today. For, for what? Talking to an... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I might, who starts their conversations like this? I'm just going to go up to this random dude and be like, you know what, dude? I'm not in the mood today. <laughs> it's like, well, what are you not in the mood for? Talking to an idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, just, I can't. That's so... Okay. The scoffing chief didn't bled out about an hour ago had. So when you tell me that what... Oh, Okay. What thing the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to, they don't talk to me. Uh, I'm just going to let this guy, I'm going to let him do his thing. You just, you do your thing, man. Irik overturns his flimsy table, scattering Had's assortment of junk across the ground. That's a bit extreme. Eric laying it on a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the scalfings? Noblemen up by East Wall, but that was months ago, last I know. Had skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hall. Disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure? Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Who, where'd he come from? Gunolf? That's a cool name. Were you wearing green back? <laughs> no, just bought him while you were walking around. I don't know if this is supposed to be funny, but it comes across as so random that it just it makes me laugh. You look like a frog. We're going to go with that. Better than an A. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, he does kind of look like an eggplant with horns and a beard. Eric, that man of yours seemed unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be scalfing. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall? Question mark. I'm Ron Burgundy. Best I can tell, the name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these scowls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Uh, where is this again? Nobleman is halfway up. Oh, Nobleman is a place. Towards the Great Hall. You won't miss it. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. So, so far, the game has just kind of like sucked me in with its, I think, unintentional humor for the most part. And it's great uh, art style, but man, it's it's different than the games that I normally play. This feels like a uh, kind of classic RPG uh, where you're reading a lot, you're making choices. It's cool. I like it. It's a different... Different. It's a change of pace for me. You arrive in front of what must be Nobleman. A few minutes later, Eric appears with the weather-beaten man introduces Valgard. I'll point them out, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready. Yeah, let's, let's do it. That's the spirit, says Valgard. Okay, here we go. 
Valgard boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. That's, that's a pretty hard to kick. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of a table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scalflings scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and mead steins in the process. Sounds like we're going to fight. It's kind of typical. You walk into a mead hall, get into a fight. You know, the huge... The usual on a Tuesday night. All right. Oh, we got the frog here. All right. Select a unit with the D-pad and use that to deploy them into any of the blue tiles. Blah, blah, blah. Deploy. Press start to battle. Okay. So. Okay. So we're positioning people. Gotcha. Uh, I want you there. Uh, I don't know. Let's do some kind of bottleneck thing like I used to do in Fire Emblem. Alright. Okay, so we have to move him first. Okay. Uh, move. Here we go. Move him here. And then... What's... Is Stonewall defend? Blocks three... Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this feels very much like Fire Emblem. But it looks more like a um, kind of Norse Disgaea. If you ever played that, okay, rally. What does this do? Gives two well power to an ally at a, any range, and eh, we don't need that. Uh, just end turn. But I like it. The music's good. Music is good. I'm digging it so far. Seems like a fun game. We'll keep playing. One of my the great thing about being a patron um, is you can recommend games, which you don't need to give us money to do that, but um, I thought that would do enough damage to... Okay. Um, but so far, my patrons haven't steered me wrong with a reco, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. I have a feeling I'm not doing very well because everybody's ganging up on the shield banger over there. But I'd also like to take this moment to say that strategy games are not, they're just not my thing. I've played XCOM, I've played those games, but I always have to play them on easy because I'm just not very good at them. Uh, I tend to just kind of guess at what would be the best move to do. Uh, Alright, so let me see here. So I'm going to do three damage to that, right? And so he's going to have one left, but I'm going to do four. Okay, so now I'm getting how the damage works. Okay. Dude, don't hit the frog. What are you doing? Why would you do that? Rude. But normally I would play games on on easy or something uh, to usually get a feel for the game, to kind of play it and, and just get a good idea of what it is I'm going to be doing. But, uh... Oh, that's cool. There's like a shockwave effect. But I'm usually not very good at these kind of games, so this this might be entertaining or it might just be tragic. One of the two. Uh, let's do one to take him out. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of how the damage works, the shielding and all that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do three. Let's take out his shield. So we do a little bit more damage. How do I know how much health he has? I guess it says over there on the left. Seven out of nine. Okay. Uh, we don't want to move. Let's attack. Can I attack him? I guess so. Let's just fight him. And so this is pretty different from what I'm playing currently. Uh, I'm kind of playing a, a blend of games here. I've uh, been playing Octopath Traveler on the Switch. also been playing Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Uh, play, going through Mega Man X. So, I mean, it's two different games. I mean, you have your JRPG, you have your uh, kind of action platformer. And then you have this, and it's just a completely different uh, pace in regards to those other games. I'm going to bump that up. 
But what I like is that playing this... Man, he hit a lot. Oh, that frog is not looking good. But playing this, doing the different kind of moves, like adding in the... Uh, I forget what these things are called, but adding in like the extra stars. Reminds me a lot of Octopath Traveler, because on that one, when you uh, use like a boost mechanic, then you... Now, why can't I use the Tempest? That's weird. But when you use the boost... Uh, I think it's called boost in the game. Then you basically power up your, your attacks. I have a feeling these guys are going to die soon. This is not looking good. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, let's do Tempest. And then... Yeah. Okay, are these guys... Okay, the frog cannot die. I do not want the frog to die. Okay, this guy's going down. Okay, there we go. So it kind of reminds me of Octopath Traveler. It's kind of similar to what I'm playing already, but this is it's still different. I guess I could have boosted that attack a little bit. So, Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's down. Shield Banger's down. No, come on. Of course. Okay, what happens if he rests? What does that do? Does he get any health? Nope. He's just going to sit there and get hit. Great. That's exactly what... Uh, you know what? Drop this fool. There we go. Okay, bro. Enough of this. You are done. So is the shield banger dead? Does this have permadeath? Because if this has permadeath, then... I'll stop trying to be so reckless. But I can't guarantee it, because... Well... I'm not very good at these games. Alright. Promotion for air... Okay, this is going through everything way too fast. Okay, he's been injured in battle. So does that mean... He goes back to the camp? Takes a load off? Gotta go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's windows onto the bay. A fleet of long ships approach with sails of bold reds and blues. One banner I know well, Vognir. Next for Varl Kingship last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yeah, important guess. See what I deal with all day long? Eric seems like the kind of guy that I would not want to hang out with at a church potluck. He doesn't seem very chipper. Does not seem fun to hang out with. All right, things make a little more sense. You hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the Great Hall before they come by. Great job. Great favor. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really digging Eric. I don't really want to do more for him, but he might cheer up now. We're going to say no. Okay. Eric and Valgard hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spare. A spar? Spare? Spar? Whatever. A silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down at the docks. Someone's going to have to remind me what exactly is going on here. Alright, so... I like how simple this whole map thing is. Like, I didn't even know that I was supposed to go click on this right now, but... I like how simple it is. Vognir. Familiar Varl steps onto the docks in your mind. You recall this music. Wow, listen to that. Fantastic. In your mind, you recall a much younger version tramping... Tramping? The halls of Grofheim. Abundant in purpose. Ubin, you're looking ancient. <laughs> this dude can't catch a break. He gets called an eggplant, and now he's getting called ancient. I mean, before we know it, this dude's going to summon an army of bears to just maul the people that just mock him. Comes with being old, and if there's Wagner, there must be Hakan? Haken? Heart. Words are hard. Must there. Okay, this dude looks cool. I like that mustache. He's even got a braided... That's a cool-looking dude. 
Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old yox ox? There. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? Your... Yorinder? Your under? Your under? Man, these names are going to trip me up. I'll take that over lingering to death in Grofheim. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just return from... I'm done pronouncing these names. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, Yakan motions for, to the other ships in the bay. Sails still fluttering. Golden wolf head emblazoned on red. The king of men half. The king's whelp. The king's son, Luden. Don't you know, Scriven? Dude, they're saying a whole bunch of words I've literally never seen in my life. We visit his capital. He visits ours. It's how you make alliance these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hakan has it. I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hakan. Then you're going to Grofheim? I'll have... I have the distinct feeling I finished my business in Strand. And was heading there myself. We should caravan. Yeah, party van. Let's do it. Go on the Huff Lane. We should give it a day. In better circumstances, I'd drink a week away. But ah, uh, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. I literally thought there was a character named Tomorrow for a second. I was like, we got to go find a dude named Tomorrow? All right, cool. What he's trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where is... How do you even pronounce that? Mog... Mog... Whatever. Hakan, have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading up to meet the governor. A host of giants depart in his wake. You recognize a few others are strangers to you. Sounds like a typical uh, family reunion. Guess I'm off to find that guy. See you in the morning, Scrivener. I'll be along. Y'all can read that one for yourself. I'll get a drink here. <sighs> okay. A lot of reading. A lot and a lot of reading. A lot and a lot. Lots and lots of reading. All right, weariness suddenly settles in, and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it has been. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Wagner's caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with Hakan or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. Um, I want to go to sleep. Now let's say use that to highlight a talk icon, then press X to converse with the hero. Can I just go to sleep? How's about that? Is this the right place? You find the prince at... Oh, I'm talking to the prince. Too. Guards blanket the building, including a sharp-eyed Varl who must be working for Luton. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Luton. Yes, you're with Wagner. I don't remember... <laughs> I mean, I don't remember you either, to be fair, so... Not exactly. I've known Wagner a long time. I'll be joining you back to Grofheim with my guards. Luden looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. What? There's a tree there. Are we calling trees women now? This is, okay, this is a different kind of game. I work for the king, carrying tithes to the capital. We crossed by chance. Oh, a tax collector. Whoa, tax collectors? Mm, I don't know if I can play this game, y'all. Luke, you recommended this game to me. Mm, check your heart. Kidding. Fine company. What do you want? Uh, well, I mean, I just kind of came to say hi. You know, I'm going to be rude about it. Collect taxes for the Varl Territories. A true pleasure. Yes. <laughs> that's it. Yep, that's it. An awkwardness hangs in the air like a thick fog. You take the opportunity to depart. Sounds like me at most social gatherings. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm digging the character I'm playing as. He's a pretty funny dude. Alright, we'll go talk to Hakan. Scrivener! You find Hakan in a meat house surrounded by other Varl. Strand is no stranger to Varl, but rarely sees this many. Hakan waves you over. Went straight for a flagon. Wagner's the one who agreed to pass up a drink. I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. You already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise. What this time? When I got here, the great hall was already full of bodies. We added... We added a few... Okay, that's great. 
humans. I guess if only if I only lived as long as a yox. Okay, I might be desperate. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's slip a low chuckle. Any varl could recount his deeds, known as he is for cutting a swath through dredge at Vaknir's side in the Second War, and regular, regularly since then. Down here, I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point. Just another reason to get back to Grofheim. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink until the meat house becomes overbearing, then step back into the cool air outside. So basically, the dude got tipsy. Let's be honest. Let's call it for what it is. Alright, let's see what we gotta do here. What's glowing? Okay, great haul. Here we go. At dawn, you're awoken by a delivery of goods. At least you think it's dawn. <laughs> Hard to tell with a sun that never moves. The governor's crest adorns the supply leathers. Not as many as you were promised, but no time to complain. Now, your guards take the treasure wagon down to the gates. Wagner's already there. A while later, Luden and his men appear, groggy and disheveled. That guy steps forward, Wagner's quartermaster, if you recall correctly, in charge of his unwieldy entourage of warriors. You know him only in passing. He asks if you're ready to depart. Let's go. You follow that guy and join the others. Usually the smaller doors set into the gates would be enough to enter or leave the city, but the town guards have been told to push them open entirely. They mutter things under their breath that are best not heard. Hmm. Hmm. They, they hate it on Justin Bieber, I guess. The Perhaps the governor expected you to draw a crowd, but there's nothing of the sort. Just frustrated, tired people. Summarizer strand well as a whole, you think. So you guys didn't tell me that uh, I play this game as a tax collector. Don't know how I feel about that. I'm joking, of course, but... You know, you have to say you're joking because some people don't get sarcasm. Morale decline? What? Why? Because I made a tax collector joke? Alright. Won't do that again. Just keep marching along and not make any jokes. Caravan stops for a day. A gift, says that guy cracking open mead casks from our gracious friend, the governor of Strand. Hours pass with raucous, 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 raucous laughter as the mead is passed throughout camp. Uh, let's, uh, let's just do a little. You go easy. You've nothing against a good drink, but if anyone is going to keep an eye on things, it may as well be you. Exactly. The revelers eventually fall asleep without incident, and we're probably going to get attacked. Because that always happens. All right. You rise groggily. The campsite, a casualty of merriment. That guy is already kicking warriors awake when you spot Ludin stalking your direction. He sidesteps sleeping bodies. Better wake up. You nudge Wagner. You're needed. Ah, it's Ludin. Always a pleasure. You look well rested. Wagner releases a caged yawn. What is a caged yawn? Is that like he he puts a bane mask on and yawns? Receives a hard-eyed stare in return. How long to Grofheim? Basically, are we there yet? Ludin is the kid in the back of the church bus going, Are we there yet? Ha, we're only two days out of Strand, you know. Come, I'll show you on a map. Do we get to see the map, too? Is that a thing that I get to look at? That would be helpful. Ah, oh, there we go. Use the right stick to pan around the map. Triggers to zoom in, as usual. Portrait icon shows where your caravan is in the world. You can use the stick and X to select a location to get some history about it. Oh, that's cool. When you're done with the map, press circle. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is where we're going? Okay. Oh, that's cool. It kind of gives you a little bit of a history of that. Okay, how do I... Okay. Okay, so you get some history of the area. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now, if I remember correctly, Varl are... I know this is Norse mythology, and I just read the book Norse mythology. I can't remember what Varl are. I know they're not human. I don't think they're frost giants. 
Are they the in between between Asgardians and Frost Giants? I don't remember. Really don't remember. I promise I read the book. You can check my Goodreads. But I really just don't remember uh, who these, who these kind of, what kind of people these are. We head north, then east, past the forts. Grafheim's far from Strand, going to be a long march. You should have drank last night, Luden. Why not take the ships to Scri... I'm done with these names. They're so difficult. What's the point of marching? The Silverstone Bay is called that for a reason. It stays covered in ice all year. It would tear up the long ships. Yeah, Luden, didn't you know that? We all know that. Too bad, though. We could have shown you all the wonders of Skyrim. A half-sunken city crawling with dredge prints. Dredge and glaciers. You like glaciers? Who doesn't? Luden exhales through the no through the nose. A poor, I thought it said Luden exhales through a nose, and I'm like, does he have more than one? A poor disguise for his contempt. He turns and bats aside the tent flaps as he goes, barking at his company in the distance. You know, I was expecting to stream a game tonight, but it looks like we're streaming story time with Logan here, and I will just read this to you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Don't poke the anthill, Wagner. He seems no happier to be here than you. Spend a few more days with the boy, old friend. You'll be looking for a tall cliff top <laughs> off to golly. Uh, <coughs> I love the attitude on some of these guys. Luden's got a shorter... Was that? Mm, okay, we don't need to say that. Another half day to that place, if we're lucky. Alright, so, okay, camp is where you manage your caravan. During travel, you can enter camp at any time by tapping the camp button on Travel HUD. While at camp or in towns, you can upgrade your allies or equip items in the hero's tent. Okay, you can pass time by using the rest tent. Resting will improve the caravan's morale. A high morale will reduce casualties in war and affect your willpower in combat. Each passing day will use supplies, so only rest when necessary. The training tent will allow you to safely try out any characters in a mock battle. Tap leave at the bottom of the campsite when you're ready to get back on the road. On the road again. I can't wait to be on the road. There it is. There it is. Battles are less challenging. Yes, because I'm a total noob. Make it easy for me. Thank you so much. All right, select Heroes Tent. Okay, I did that. Now what? Okay, so use the D-pad and X to select a unit, view stats, promote ranks, and learn about abilities. Oh, here we go. Okay, uh, what happened to the one guy? Wasn't there a guy I was supposed to upgrade? Use that to select the ability button to learn about the unit's abilities. Okay. When Ubin, 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 I don't know. Okay, so he also, dude, the tax collectors in this place are pretty intense. Like, you know when you read the Bible and you come across, like, tax collectors, you're like, some dude in robes. No, these guys are like dudes with horns, swords, looking like a frog. They will mess you up if you don't pay your taxes. Straight up. Okay, I'm not learning anything about the ability. I'm literally pressing it right now. It's not doing anything. Okay, there it goes. All right, so this is the Tempest move. Blah, blah, blah. Heavy impact. He has two of them? Okay. What does that do? Nothing. Okay. No points available. What does triangle do? Nothing. Okay. And that's the character. Okay, so you cycle through them. This is the way you view characters. Check out the cool artwork. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, let's see what other things we got here. There's a rest, leap training. Yeah, might as well try and get better at it. Because again, strategy games are just they're they're not my thing. It's not that I don't like them. It's just I'm not good at them, and they tend to stress me out when I lose a character. Training ten allows you to test your party against a team of clansmen. Blah 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 blah. Trainer, tra trainer, the trainer 
will give hints about playing effectively and has something to say about each ability. Come here to test out new blah blah blah. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's move him down there. Draw some of the attacks in turn. This does feel, like I said, this feels like a board game. I can't remember what game I played, but it feels like you can impale people. Okay. He resisted it? How do you resist that? Alright, you know what, bro? You're gonna get hit with the axe. Hit them hard enough and their friends will feel it. But again, like, it's just, it's not that I have anything against strategy games, I'm just not very good at them. Um, I did really enjoy XCOM, was it Enemy Unknown? Yeah, XCOM Enemy Unknown. It was just a really good game, and I actually finished that one, but I'm pretty sure I played it on easy. And ever since then, you know, I've really enjoyed Fire Emblem, that was another great one I really enjoyed. Disgaea was cool. Um... But it's just, it, again, it gets to a point where the strategy element gets a little too intense for me. And then I'm just like, I'm done. Because it just, it gets to be a little too much. Fire Emblem Conquest was that way. Because it's just, it just got super hard. Um, I think like, what, two missions in? Um, okay, promotion. Is this something I select? No, you just press a button. Okay. So he gets higher stats, increase your item rank. Oh, there we go. Promote for five. Oh. So you get renown and you use that to level people up. Okay. Let's see here. Let's, uh, what is this one? Okay, not going to tell me. Let's boost that one and that one. So I already feel at home with this game, but at the same time, I, I don't know how long I'm going to stick with it. Unless the story is just really insanely good. Uh, it's just, the, again, the strategy component gets to be a bit too much for me, and then it just kind of, I tend to kind of shut down. Okay, so that's, I don't think there's anything really left to do, so we'll go ahead and leave uh, and continue on our journey. Weatherfell. Even the name means bad weather, where frozen wind sweeps in from the bay. They tend livestock, but most are just men driven from strand with nowhere else to go. Why else would anyone stay? We won't stop long. But coming off of God of War, reading the Norse mythology book, you know, I am interested in this kind of um, lore, mythos, that kind of thing. So, I mean, maybe I'll stick with it. And the art's fantastic. Like, it's really, really good. By Hamburger, that's a lot of varro for some missing cattle. What? A couple days back, sent word to Strand about the cattle. Didn't expect an army. He looks pleased with himself until it sinks in that you aren't here on his behalf. Where have your cattle gone? Wouldn't know. My boy's seen men up the hills carrying them away. Don't know many men who can hoist a whole cow by himself. Sounds like Thor. Scalfing's out here, maybe. Could they have Varl working for them? Not from what the governor told me. I'm going to take a look around and get camp set up. The peasant spits, his eyes anxiously darting about as a caravan sets up tents. We'll be here no more than a day. There's silver for any food you've got. For hundreds of Varl? Are you serious? Yo, bro, dude, just pray about it. It'll happen. Whatever you're willing to sell. You thinking of squatting? Not enough room for a couple hunters here. Forget hundreds of... Shut up. Hear that? <laughs> I love these characters and the things that they say sometimes. <laughs> he just straight up tells a dude to shut up. <laughs> He's like, ah! Oh, man. It's faint. It sounds like fighting and something else. A con takes off at a... I thought it says he takes off an arm, and I'm like, what... So what, Luden's being attacked? The dude that's at the back of the church bus going, are we there yet? Oh snap, okay. 
Pressing X on any tile will automatically make a path, but you can also set a waypoint. Press here to make a waypoint. Waypoint pathing is useful when you need to avoid certain tiles. Press here to finish moving. Spearmen can attack diagonally and up to two tiles away. Press up to compare your stats with the enemies. Yeah, those guys, they're pretty heavy duty. Target this enemy with attack. Armor blocks attack on strength. For each enemy armor higher than your strength, temperature chance the attack will be deflected. Notice the chance to hit shown above the attack button. Attack this enemy's strength. Okay, 50% chance. Let's do it. Deflected attacks do no damage. From here on out, you will fail catastrophically. You won't just fail, but you will fail catastrophically if you don't break armor. Damaging both. <coughs> Damaging both. Strength and armor is equally important. Oh, he's done. He is done. Well, we've got the shield banger up here, so we'll be all right. Alright, so let's attack uh, your shield thing then. Boost that up a little bit. And these guys are going to move in. Okay. So I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit. So what does waypoint do? Nothing. It's not doing anything. Alright, we'll move him up there. Uh, bring the pain. Uh, just end the turn. I'm sure there's a way that in like, because in Fire Emblem you can press a button and it'll show you the enemy's movement tiles. It's probably in here and I'm just missing the button, but I'll figure it out later. Alright, uh, whoops. We don't need to do a Tempest just yet, but I do want to attack his shield. That's it? Just one? So his attack is higher than that. So let's boost it and attack. I feel like I've made a grave mistake because Frogman over there is about to die. I immediately regret this decision. Okay, where is it getting the two from? The shield? Let's take that out so we can do more damage. Okay. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. Let's do this guy. And attack. Okay, I think I'm getting it. So, drop his shield even more, and then... Okay, now I get it. I'm seeing how they do it. Because that guy attacks at 14. Dude has a shield of 8. Subtract him. Math! Basic math. In a video game that I'm playing. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's move him out of here, because he is not doing too good. No, don't chase him. Don't chase the frog. Rude. What is that? Rest? No, we'll just have him attack. There we go. Okay. We'll see how I, I'm gonna try and get through this without anyone dying, but Frogman might go down. Alright. Now. Okay, this guy's gonna go down, right? There he goes. Alright, one willpower star is added to your horn. What is he doing? Is he like meditating? Is he trying to make it rain? I don't like the way that looks. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. 
can he not move? Right there. Huh. Well, let's see how this goes. He's gonna go over there and kill the frog, isn't he? Nope. Well, I really don't think the frog's gonna make it through this one. Rip, Mr. Frog. That guy's down at least. And there he goes. Well, we at least took out the Guardian from Breath of the Wild. That's good. Uh, attack. He can't attack. Okay, whoa, whoa. Pressing the wrong buttons here. Alright, let's take him out. Do five damage. Okay. So far, so good. We only lost one guy, but he's not gonna, like, you know, disappear forever. Okay, uh... Boost that to a three. And then have him attack, and we're done so. Congratulations, everybody. We only knocked out the frog guy. Not bad. Not bad. Defeat an enemy with a war master. That guy got promoted. Hakan got promoted. And Luden's injured. Okay, maybe maybe he'll learn to stop complaining. And Gunnolf's down. So far, not a bad game. You trying to get yourself killed, Luden? What are you doing? I was trying finding a trying to get a shot in between the plates. You never seen a dredge before, boy. What kind of idiot break their first break their armor first? What kind of is he chastising him for doing that? Is he saying do it? You didn't even see them; they were just there. Khan goes to where Wagner lies face down. The future Varl King lies motionless aside from a spreading pool of blood. Wagner's dead. Oh. Oh, lovely. Chapter 2! So yeah, so far... Mm, like the world it's in. I'm interested to play more, but with it being a strategy game, just one more time... Not sure how much longer I'll stick with it, unless it's switching characters? Well, look at that. It is switching King in the face. Huh. Cool. Well, maybe I will keep playing this game then. Oh, it's it's progressing on its own. Alright, well, dear listeners, go... Oh, no, he's got a deer! Okay, these guys are bad. can't be attacking listeners of the show like that. What is this? What kind of game am I playing here? But well, Anyway, dear listeners, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream there. I'm going to upload this to YouTube later on in case you missed it. Uh, but, yeah, so far I'm interested. Cool little game. like the art style. I like a lot of what's going on here. Uh, but we'll time will tell if I'm going to keep playing this. But anyway, dear listeners, thanks for checking out the stream on twitch.tv slash trgpodcast. As always, you can go over to youtube.com slash thereformgamers to follow up on any streams that you missed out on. But until next time, GG and amen.